everyone. My name is Zhishan Chen and I'm studying the NEU. And today I want I want to talk about the hybrid robotic system for harvesting heavy proteins. Uh, at the beginning I want to ask everybody one question. Do you like to eat fruit? And uh, write your hand. And <laughs> thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, actually, I, I very like to eat the watermelon and the melon. It's very sweet. Uh, so I, I, I will think about that. How, 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 did, how do people to harvest this type of fruit? Because it's very heavy. So uh, I look for the paper and uh, find it. Uh, in the traditional and in the traditional way, people will develop a lot of people to 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 harvest this heavy fruit. But today, the the people want to harvest this one by the machine or the robot. So so I will talk about a little information of robot. Um, there are three kinds of typical robotic systems. In the first is serial robotic system, and the second is parallel robotic system, and the final point is hybrid robotic system. The serial robotic system is that. Uh, the, the picture is the, the robot of Kuka. And uh, the serial robotic system is like your, your arms. And uh, it can have a large workspace and uh, press promotion, but it has some problem with it. Less, it needs small payload and uh, high inertia. And the parallel robotic system is like this. This is the steward platform, and one kind of parallel robotic system. And the parallel robotic system uh, has high structure stiffness and the great payload and the accuracy but it sacrifices the workspace of that. Uh, in this paper, uh, we want to combine these two, two kind of robotic systems. We call that hybrid robotic system. To, uh, this, this kind of system can have the advantage of two the serials robotic system and the parallel robotic system. So they want to use the hybrid robotic system to to harvest the heavy fruit. And this is the serial part and the, the parallel part. <coughs> this is the working process for harvesting produce. Uh, at the beginning the the end vector of the robot will will be attached attached to the target and uh, stretch the arm to the target and uh, get it done. This is the picture of that. Uh, this is the construction of the actuator control system. And uh, at the beginning, they just use the P controller to to control the actuator. So this is the behavior of only use the P controller. We can see they will they use the four kind of payload to the system, and uh, the seven point five kilogram and the five point five kilogram cannot get to the desired position. So they want to solve this problem, they use the fuzzy controller. And they after they using the fuzzy controller, they eliminate the steady state error of the system when the payload is 7.5 kilogram and 5.5 kilogram. Uh, the, the conclusion, the hybrid robot 
was effective and capable of handling heavy agricultural products, such as metals, and could be controlled presently enough for use in harvesting. And in, in, this, in this experiment, the position control result of the develop, development hybrid robot showed that it could be controlled within uh, A is positive or negative one micrometer and uh, uh, millimeter and uh, positive or negative 0 0.2 degree range of error. Thank you.
end of my on my hand, and uh, I want to make a make turn. It's it's much it's more difficult than if I, I don't have any any token like this. And uh, this this system is just like the power up. And uh, if they have some payload at the end vector, and they they do the motion, they will they will just lack the the situation I just speak. So the inertia uh, just like mm, it will easy to cause uh, the much moment 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 in dynamics. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know how to or <laughs> power consuming or yeah, yes. Yes. Uh, as some uh, <coughs> yeah, some opens because for this this kind of robot, I mean it's it's one on the other on the other on the other top. So the the, the less one, the big one has to support all the other the weight of the other thing. Yeah. So I think the most important is because it is serial connected, not like a parallel robot. Let me go to the next slide. This one, the weight is supported by six things. They don't, for example, this thing is not support, it not support all the other things, the weight of the other things. And it makes the energy more efficient.
let me uh, rephrase that. Okay. The robot and the hybrid robot now takes up a lot of space uh, on the ground. But if you go into the real world, in a real field, there is not so much space. You are planting. How can you, can you solve the problem of having a small space that the robot can use in the field? I, I think it, it is impossible because uh, because the at, at this experiment they want to take the heavy heavy food and the heavy food we need to we, we need to let our base more more stable. So so the the, the parallel part of this system I think uh, they will not be very small. But uh, because I, I have searched the the black water meter, the, the bumps of water meter, uh, they, they have a lot of space. We we can put the this is, we can put this robot in the farm to harvest. So I think that is not a problem. Uh, is that yes? Answer your question. Thank you. Uh, my name is Nano Mueda. Uh, I invented the uh, World Number One Harvesting Robot uh, 20 years ago. Uh, uh, we used a uh, uh, more simple variable linkage. And I am afraid that uh, your uh, robotic construction is uh, too complex uh, to use uh, in uh, uh, agricultural operations. And uh, my colleague is uh, Dr. Satoru Sakai submitted uh, IEEE transactions. Uh, you can see uh, our uh, research results. I would like to, for you, to read such uh, uh, as transactions. And uh, simple uh, construction is uh, more and more simple. Thank you. Are there any more questions? Thank you for your presentation. Uh, I have a question. Uh, each part of the fruits uh, that, that the machine sees when the uh, machine pick up the fruits and is a, a stroke point, a stroke up or the kill part which joint the machine is to see. Thank you. Can you repeat the your <laughs> question? Okay. Sorry. Uh, which part of the fruits the machine will seize? And uh, seize the uh, cue point or uh, stem point? Stroke point. It's the first, first, first one you you just you just do. Uh, stroke stroke point. Yes. Um, now. No. Uh, uh, because I, I think the uh, first size is very uh, different, so uh, the, uh, the machine it, uh, the machine will pick the stroke point is the better. Let me <laughs> rephrase that. When you are picking up a melon, does the robot identify the middle part of the melon to pick up, or what part? How does it identify which part to try and pick up? Uh, it, it is paper. The, the, the picture they show show uh, the picture I, I see in the paper. They 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 catch this this fruit on uh, on the on its body. Okay, uh, so they use a, a round melon or a round shape, or do they use a long elongated uh, style melon? Yes. <laughs> which one? <laughs> which, which one? Is it round or is it a long elongated style? 
they they got idea the the fruit like a ball. Okay. Oh, okay. 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 So yeah. Okay. They don't make about the left the the short one or the another one. Okay. Thank you very much. That's all the questions from here.